How's it going? <laughs> Oh no! Hi. Frank turned into a didgeridoo. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are playing uh, more Kingdom Hearts. We're back. Uh, been a while, everybody. How you doing? Everything uh, treating you good? That must been like a day. No, it's been like a week. Oh, that's right. You remember we we put out episodes every Friday. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which reminds me. Yeah. Uh, Gotta put up this week's episode? Yeah, I gotta put up this week's episode. I totally forgot. Nice. Oh no, I think so. I, I, Jack, what? hold on. Sorry. Uh, oh! Uh, oh no! Sorry, sorry if there was like, I really, disturbance. I really, really need to get like in the habit of using that like YouTube like video scheduler system that they like implemented. Ugh. That thing that we like, compl I, I, I've, I've had private conversations with you on this, but I complained huh. about it constantly. I'm like, Oh my god, I just wish they would make it so that way I can schedule this to like a date and then just like not have to worry about it and just like put it up there and be like, thank you, Kanye. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kanye. Real cool. <laughs> Real cool, Kanye. Um, well, yeah. You know, you know, it's the, the best part about the commentary that we do on, on our, uh, there's, there's even a good part. I, I, no, I was, say, I was saying the funny thing. Did I say the good thing? You said the best thing. The best thing about it is it's like... The best commentary. The best part of commentary. Is it super good? Is it super topical? For like a minute. Oh no, Angry Buckets. But yeah, like, it's like the commentary is like... Perfectly topical for like two seconds. And then, you know... Nine billion things happen on the internet that everybody locks on to, and it just gets easily over. What? Wait, what? Right, the chamber thief. Oh, I thought you walked into like one of those like so like like the way that the color of like the, the tubes are, like it looks like one of these little like splotchy things oh. in the background could easily be another entrance that just hides itself. I can see that as being part of the background. But yeah, commentary is silly because it's like you know. It's there for a hot beat, and then it's gone. That hot beat. That hot beat. I got some hot beats. Drop the hot beats. Beats by Drew. Okay, so one of the things that always bothered me about this game yeah. is the fact that you can have an enemy who goes down that little tunnel right there, uh -huh. and they can go all the way to the back end to where you can't even touch them. But if they're an enemy that like you need to kill in order for something to happen in the room, you literally have to either just sit there and take their abuse or like you like burn magic left and right until they're dead and then it's like I can't even pick up the item that they just might have dropped. Yeah. So like that that that's always bugged me about games like this where like you fight the enemies and then they drop gear, or they can go into the tunnel areas like Legend of Zelda does it too. Yeah. So, for sure. Yeah, like, You know what? You know what's like really spoiled me? Huh? And, um, what game was it that I, like, thought this was going to happen in, and then it didn't, and I got really mad? Uh-huh. Uh, but Destiny has spoiled me. Hmm. Because in Destiny, you don't have to actually pick up all your loot. It just gets oh. mailed to you. Yeah, like, like if, if you, you miss it, you get it mailed in? Yeah, it just comes, like, it shows up for you back at, your, back at the, 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 whatever the main hub is called, I can't remember right now, the tower. Yeah. Um. So I want to say I was playing Fallout or something like that, and so I, like it was a scenario of you know I missed looting something or I was one of those like eh whatever I don't need to loot it I'll just pick it up later, and then I kept going on I'm like wait it won't come to me oh no <laughs> it won't be mailed to me I have aired yeah uh, Destiny has very much spoiled me like um, I remember when you and I were first starting to play Fallout 76. But we were complaining about like going back to Destiny, and then like being like, I tried to open up everything with the tab button. Yeah. Now like I went back to Fallout like two seconds ago when we were like right before we started recording, and I literally was like pressing F1, and I'm like, why is my inventory not opening up? Yeah. What? what why am I not going into the director? And then I was like, oh. Right. Yeah. You're like, oh right. Fallout. Ah. <sighs> Oh, 
yeah, but like there, there's a lot of games that do that where it's like they're they're similar in ways, like like playing two different versions of like an RPG and one does one thing and the other does another, and so it's easy to like get the buttons and like everything all mixed up. Yeah, for sure. So, Chamber Fury. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Why do you Let's still see. care about that boy? Because I love him! Oh, He's my bae! He's my key bae! Yeah. I was just messing with him a little. Oh, really? Of course you were. Maleficent Beware sees it. Oh, yeah. She knows that you're into him. It's okay, Riku. It's okay. It's 2018! There's, there's a wide spectrum of everything. It's all right, man. So, so she literally has the power to teleport yes. anywhere at any time. Uh huh. Yet she never does it to like teleport right next to Sora and just be like dead. What are you thinking? Oh. Don't you realize what you're doing? Yeah, what are you doing? I was doing? about to ask you the same thing, Sora. Oh shit! You only seem interested in running around and showing off that Keyblade these days. Do you even want to save Kairi? Who? I do. My eyes are two dimensional and flat. Ah! I'm Pinocchio. Pinoc. Pinoc. Hey. Hey, Pinocchio. Where are you at? What are you doing over there, Pinocchio? Uh, bowels. Thought I told you, Pinocchio, you gotta go and get me some pizza. Oh no, I'm in the bowls. You gotta get me that za. I like that this is almost exactly the boss from Jabu Jabu. Oh, you know what it is. It like straight up is. No problem. Look, Let's do it. Look at this. He's like, oh, why are you hanging out with all your cool friends, sir? Why are you doing that? Oh, is this little puppet boy that I was using to, like, trick you into going into doing things? He's in danger now. Better save him with you. It's like, come on, Riku. You're such a poser. You know better. Oh, and look at him. Just running around the edge. He's like, I'm going to I'm gonna TK this. Or I'm going to I'm gonna Whoa. kill steal this. He looks like a giant golden pear. He does. Like take this. Like a golden, uh -oh. like a or, or like a like a oven baked pear with some like I don't know some noodles on top. Either way, he looks delicious, and uh, Pinocchio is annoying. And I wish to eat you. I wish to eat you, Pinocchio. Shut up at your face! I shut up at your face! Also, like... Uh... Pinocchio annoys me. He so much is like the embodiment of what it means to be like a child. Because obviously he does something stupid and gets in trouble for it or gets caught into something dangerous. And then immediately expects other people to save him and resolve his problems for him. Oh no, Monstro ate me! I should have listened to Dad! Dad, why didn't you save me, Geppetto? And Geppetto's like, You motherfucker, I was- You are a motherfucker! I was in a boat, coming to save you! Uh-oh. See ya! I'm gonna go and eat the heart now instead! Riku, why? Oh, Riku, cheer! Yay, Goofy's a <laughs> cheerleader. Goofy's Come on, Goofy, leader. lead the cheers. Oh, Chris is so impeached. Give him more time. I like that. All right. I'm down with that. Why don't you give him Rocket as well? Because you have one extra. I don't wanna. You, you, give him, give him Rocket. No. Goo Goofy likes to r Rocket. You gonna, we're gonna. Goofy's Red Rocket? No. This isn't Fallout, Steve. You can't talk about Red Rocket here. The Red Rocket in? Yeah, the Red oh, Rocket the gas water station. Is so <gasps> low the now. water. That water. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Please give me back my son. Sorry, old man. He's a princess. We need him. <laughs> Look at this little princess He's no biatch. Puppet. 
Pinocchio is my little boy. No, Geppetto, he's he a puppet. Is <laughs> Could you not many puppets are I'm not sure. Geppetto <laughs> running <laughs> around in current day. Give me back my <laughs> little boy! I need my <laughs> little boy back for my shop! <laughs> so mm -hmm. this is the point in the game. Yeah? Where I left. Oh, 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 this is the good ability. Yes. High jump. You jump so high. Oh, that's oh, right. Yes. Oh, my God. I forgot that. Yeah, because you can just come to this save and be like, well, I mean, they just left because he does. He just leaves. Yeah. And you don't see them go into the the, the other cave. The other cave. Yeah. Yeah. And so you can just leave at this point Cause you think and go like, to a new world. Because you're like, oh, they kidnapped Pinocchio yeah. and they took him to another world. I got to go and save him. That's exactly it. And then there was a point in the game where I was like, well, I just beat Riku for like the last time. Like, why did I not resolve the Pinocchio story? Mm -hmm. And so then I came back here and I'm like, oh, fuck. I missed everything. It's because the, f the finale of the Pinocchio story is actually here. Uh, hey, hey, look at that. A blue Trinity. Oh, we got stuff. <gasps> Ooh, there's a big blue one, too. I think that's actually a really good item. Yeah, that's we got a, a cottage. It's a cottage. A cottage? A kotaku. Oh, no. Throw it away. <laughs> oh, no. It's got cancer. <laughs> oh, no. It's trash. <laughs> Damn. What? Nothing. You never get your, like, your, your TMZs and your kotaku? Eh, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's let's go ahead and stop this one. Yeah, let's stop let's, this. Let's one. go ahead. We're, we're good. Yeah. We're good. You Anyways, we're, so, we're okay. We're okay. So, isn't the next thing you get like supposed to be like glide or something? You do like, get glide, I think next. Yeah, because glide like, is the sauce. Oh yeah, G glide is the best thing ever. And like the the worst part too about having the like the high jump is now you can reach places that you normally can't get yeah. to. Throat. But yeah. So I totally didn't go here. Mm -hmm. And so it's just like super awkward. Because it, it does. It's just like you're right next to the save point that takes you out. And you, so the like the thought is like, oh, okay, well, I guess maybe I'm just done. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done here. I don't yeah. need to come back here for any reason. I must be done with this zone. Yeah. Maybe like Riku just took him to another world. Now I have to go chase them and get Pinocchio back. Yeah. Like we saw that with Alice. So again, it's just kind of like... Yeah, you just think that the the whole story is concluded. Yeah, and I, I I I totally get that. I totally agree with you. Like, I can easily see how you made that mistake. Yeah, I just found it funny, especially because you can come back here and still do all the triggers. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's interesting, like seeing how like the old like design philosophy had like this ideal of like. You know, letting the players leave at any point, making sure that they had the ability to understand, the, like, or like not even like trying to telegraph everything, right? Like entire, like in its entirety. Wee! Woo! Because you get Wait. sucked up into the stomach from like the mouth. Well, I don't think they understand the anatomy of. Uh, well, I mean, the throat well, goes go, into the stomach, but it was like heart to the, heart the throat then went Maybe up into the stomach. Maybe. How about it, Sora? Let's join forces to save her. We can do it together. Fuck you, weirdo! What? You'd rather fight me? Over a puppet that has no heart? You have no heart! At least he still has a conscience. Ooh! Conscience? <laughs> you might not hear it, but right now it's loud and clear. But you and can't it's telling hear it. me you're on the wrong side! Then you leave me no choice. Oh, shit. <gasps> Pinocchio! So this whole section is real awkward when you've already beaten Riku for the last time. Oh, yeah, I bet. Jiminy, I'm not gonna make it. I'm, I'm bleeding out. I'm turning into a real boy. I guess I'm okay. <laughs> Wait. Does that mean that if Pinocchio sits there and he goes... Oh no, we're doomed! And then his nose grows. It's just like, we're not! Let's keep going, everybody! So, I, I saw someone ask that question. Because then it's like, well, can, can Pinocchio inadvertently answer the mysteries of the universe? 
Like, let's say he does stuff like, oh, uh, there's no other sentient life in the universe, and then just waits to see if his nose grows. It would kind of be interesting, like, he's like a universal lie detector. Yeah. He's just like, like, uh... Doesn't do a lot of damage, though. No. I, I think that's the, the other thing, too, is, like, oh. Oh. he's also a boss enemy, so boss enemies don't deal, like, are dealt the full damage of gravity. Right. Or maybe it's like you have to upgrade gravity to s weapons. Wait, how'd you get frost weapons? I said frost weapons. Oh. I think he's stunned. Maybe he is. Yeah, he's stunned, bro. I think right now is like now's the beat him up time. Yeah. I've Even shown I've shown you the the Happy Souls video, right? What? The uh, what's it called? Dark Souls Two like animation video. I don't think so. You'll, oh, really? You'll, we'll have to look it up at the end of this episode. Oh, okay. Because I definitely need to watch that. Uh, you need to break off your lock, I think? Oh, yeah. There's a blue lock sort of area. Yeah. It, <sighs> you dick. What an ass. Uh, man, I, 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 I love and don't love, like, the lock-on system. Like, I love it when I'm playing Dark Souls. Like, it, it, is, it is a really good system for, like, normal fights. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Did it just like touch its dark orbs? Whoa, man! You can't do that. This is a kids' game. This is a kids' game. You can't do that in here. Oh, you need a. You need a heal right now. I am very much. Uh, oh, I'm at full mana anyway, so I'm not heal. Yeah. Like, um, maybe, maybe this is because. Uh, just playing a healer in WoW lately again, like, made me this way. Your green bars, like, freak you out? Uh, yes, like, if, if if I'm below, like, half health, I make sure to, like, try and hit people with heals. Because, like, I know how fast health can go. As well, as well as I know you do because you tank. Yeah. But, like, as a healer, especially as a druid healer, I'm like, oh, God, they have yeah. less than 25, they're missing 25% of their health. Hots go! But also as a tank, I had that idea of like, eh, I can soak a little bit more damage. Oh, of course. Like, it. I totally understand that feeling, because, like, when I play on my monk and I play on my tanking spec, yeah. I'm very much in that, like, I can take a little bit more. I'll just pop, like, a few more cooldowns. Yeah, okay, I got this. I've attained the spirit of time. And you've learned stop. S stop. I've learned no. to stop. I said stop. No. So I do not want a cup of tea. Puppet now. Precisely. And her heart was taken by the heartless, no doubt. More likely Tell taken me, by you. There are seven maidens of the purest heart. We call them the princesses of heart. Gather them together, and a door will open to the heart of all worlds. Oh, no. Within lies untold wisdom. A big there heart you that you can steal for your friend. To recover Kyrie's heart. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heartless. What? What? You think that would be a red flag? Like no, an immediate like, red flag? She literally sat there and she was like, so Oh, Kyrie. the heartless most likely took your friend's heart. Yeah. Now, I have go. the power to control the Heartless, so here you go. Here, here you go. And then fucking, what's his name? The googly face over there is all like, oh, okay, this yeah. is fine. I like how he sneezes you out even though I've like pulverized his heart. His heart, his stomach, his lungs. <laughs> My everything hurts. I sure oh, hope Pinocchio and Geppetto are okay. Yes, hopefully they are. I am Donald. I am Donald. Quack, quack. Donald is I. <laughs> Donald. Select. Well, Donald am I. Quack, quack. Well, I think my magic is good as Donald's now. No way, not in a million years. What Why are you, you all talking, talking like this? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, there's too many 
I'll, I'll see him. I hear there's a reward for the winner. Mm. All right, so what do we want? So we have a couple options now. So we got that f that we one. We go to and two new one. worlds. We can go back to the Coliseum, uh, or we can go back to Traverse Town and talk to Merlin. Why do we talk to Merlin? Because oh, uh, we just got new magic. About, yeah, they say something about magic. I, I don't know if Merlin actually does anything for us. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the next world. Let's right. go to the blue, the blue okay. star. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go to this one. Let's go. Ooh, um, I hope it's um. You hope it's um um. I hope it's the what's it called world. I don't think so. I think this one is. Um, right, remember, don't take that. Nope. That's a lot. I think this one is Little Mermaid. Really? Yes. Little Mermaid was one of the harder ones. I don't remember, to be honest. Yeah, neither do I, because I honestly thought Nightmare for Christmas was way earlier. Yeah. Like, I actually thought it was before Agrabah. I don't remember anything about this game besides the few things that I've looked up with my memory. So, don't trust me on that. Nope. So, why do you avoid collecting stuff? I don't know. Or is it just because of the weird angle that it's hard to... It's, it's the weird angle. Okay. I like the, the occasional, like, matter destroying this one. Oh, the, the little, like, crazy rocket that yeah. flies out. Just like, yep, I'm here. I'm a rocket, y'all. I'm a rocket, y'all. Remember I'm that Mary TV Poppins, show? Y'all. <laughs> uh, you remember that TV show, Rocket Power? What the name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, that, that, that is what I always think of whenever I hear, like, people talking about, like, rocket this or rocket that or whatever. Like, I always Wait, think, what? <sighs> Monstro. We, just, we were just here. Does he not ignore you now that you blow, beat him up? I thought he did. Yeah, I thought so too. Monstro. No. Fuck off. Oh. Really? You have to do this shit again? We just leave. All right. Oh, Monstro. Monstro, Monstro, Monstro. But uh, I remember Rocket Power and um, I remember that was that one weird no word they always used to describe the new kid. Yeah. Uh, I think it was like Did squid. Leave the fish behind? No, they left its house. Ah. Or it's travel home. Uh, but they they always had that weird name for the kid that they hung out with. That was the new kid, quote unquote, in town. The the squid or something like that. Yeah. Squib, squid, whatever. Um, and I always like remember see, like hearing that, and I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? Like, like. Cause like it was like I don't know why, but like the show always like made me think that it was supposed to take down in like Venice Beach slash like Long Beach area. Yeah. Cause like the way that it was set up, and I don't know why I got into this conversation, but it's like um, I always remember that, and I was like, I don't know anybody who says that who lives in those area. Oh, it is Ariel. You're oh, right. Oh, look at that! New high squirrel. Yeah, I love high squirrels. Okay, guys, prepare for landing. Quack, quack. Land where? In the sea? You will drown. Bitch, I'm a duck! Not with my magic. We won't. Just leave it to me. Quack, quack. Weep. Under the tea. Water levels suck. Yep. Goofy's a turtle. Donald's a squid. And I got nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Goofy. <gasps> it's Flounder and Ariel. Ariel, wait. Slow down. Don't leave me behind. <laughs> this is so inaccurate. Don't they know that crabs are amazing swimmers? Don't you know? Do you know? You know the way that you're actually a merman. Oh, relax, Sebastian. They don't look like one of them. Well, actually, he's like a he's right like a there? shark man. I don't know. There's something weird about them. Something weird about you, uh, fuckhead. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry. Whoa, whoa, I've been on edge lately. whoa. Like, the camera lifting up and apparently twisting and then Goofy, like, spinning in a circle made me a little dizzy right now. Oh, really? Yeah. And we're not really used to these waters. Uncomfortable. Why is Donald so mad? Because he's a rage mage. Yeah, that's true. Oh, don't worry. You know, I never really put it together. Huh. When I first played this game, yeah, yeah, um, that he was like a rage mage, uh huh. But I have to say that that is the most appropriate thing for Donald Duck. Uh, also, you are a shark. Uh, you're not that way. Your character is literally like a shark man, like not a mermaid, yeah. not a merman. Like we're like I guess mermaids are like half fish, half human. And mermen are also half fish, half human. But no, you are literally a shark. Where am I supposed to go? No, not that way. Where do you want me to go? Look for the trident on I, the wall. I found the trident. I tried to go that way, and it was like, so you got to go up. Fuck off. We'll go. Who's the? Okay. What the hell? Uh, maybe you have to talk to Sebastian. Maybe I have to talk to Flounder. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the learn how to play this fucking section. Go, go touch Flounder. Yeah, okay. yeah. Ugh. So this is what happens when, we, when I just kind of skip past shit. Is the, is, that's an inappropriate game as well that you should not be playing. Touch Flounder? Yeah. Don't touch Flounder. I mean, it's not as bad as touching some other things around here. Yeah, like Sebastian. He'll claw your fingertip off. I was mostly referring to the King of the Sea's 16-year-old daughter. I mean... There you go. That's true. You're not supposed to touch royalty bad idea. Yeah. Usually, though, they would station guards near the royalty, not like a freaking little fish. Who do you think fish. Sebastian is? He is the, 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 he is the royal, royal musician. Composer. Composer. Thank you. Good job. Fuck off. Sorry. I'm really on edge lately. I was just eaten by a whale. Now I am a whale. No, now you are a shark. You're a predator. Just be careful not to go on that one show with Chris Hansen. It's the wrong type of Is he... Huh? I think I'm supposed to be a dolphin, not a shark. No, you're a shark. Because you have, like, uh... I don't think shark tail... I think tail fin's wrong for a shark. I think they had the Oh, no, that's fence. right. You're right. They are vertical, so... Yeah, yeah you're a dolphin. Never yeah, mind. I'm, dolphin. I'm sorry. I love how it's like, hey, you got a really cool new jump. Don't use it. Don't use it. You can't Just use it. Just swim in the water. Fucking swim. Boop -a -doo -boop -a -doo -boop -a -doo. Mm -hmm. ah. Nice job. It would have been nice if they were like to have, um, like tailored. Yeah, hey, you can't just leave us. The uh, bitch. You gotta attack the uh, what you call it? This the seashell. Not Ariel. 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 What are you doing? Oh, the save point. Oh. Save point. Ah. Oh, green gummy. Oh, no. Those monsters might be heading for the palace, too. But, but what, 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 what if you move too fast? I can't read. I don't know if I've ever used Ariel in my party in this. Say goodbye, Second. Donald. Oh. Bye, Donald. Do, 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 do. I always traded out Donald when I could, to be honest. So my my biggest problem, and we talked about this in one of the previous episodes, yeah. is that you can't do the Trinities yep. without the three of them. Yep. And that always bugged me. But it sucks it's like, oh, here's a new character. And it's like, oh, I want to play with this new character because it's kind of neat, right? Yeah, it's the new cool, like, hotness. But yeah, no, I totally understand what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, I want to use the cool new character. Let me do Trinities with that cool new character. Right. It seems weird that they, they don't let you do the Trinity. Or like what they could have done is have it be so if you use, like if you triggered a Trinity while they were there. Um, Donald would just like yeah, run Donald over. Yeah, show up. Yeah. I agree. Like, I feel like there's ways they could have done it. Also, I feel like I really want uh, 
Not bad. That's okay. But I imagine that you might get tech points if you use lightning. How about with magic? Nope. I think you do need lightning for this. Gravity. Gravitas. But gravitas. Oh, it's red. It's fire. Fire? Yeah. Or water? Yeah. Alright. Fire! Yep. That's what I wanted. Yeah. I want it. Oh, I man. need it. What? So, I don't remember exactly what it was about this place, but there's something about this place yeah. that um, is super great for farming. Late, like when you're building out weapons and stuff. Uh huh. Because I remember coming back here a lot. Huh. I, uh, I don't ever remember coming back here to, like, farm or do any of that kind of stuff. Honestly, like, my biggest thing is, like, I hate water levels for whatever reason. Yeah. Uh, and so, like, I try to get through these things as fast as humanly possible. Well, it's, it's these kind of games aren't really well suited for, like, the 3D movement. Like, the, the X and Y axis or whatever, or the Z axis. Mm-hmm. And so it makes it very difficult. Yeah. Um, it definitely does make it difficult. Uh, no. You can't have it. No, no, no. Nope. Can't have it, bro. No. Can't yeah. have it. It's no. never going to be. It's not meant to be, Steve. Don't force things. Oh, Got well, it. you forced it. Got it. Oh, it's pink. Or it's white. These ones I get. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think what it is is there's a spot later on near a save point that frequently spawns one of those mushroom dudes. What um, mushroom dudes? Remember the the mushroom guy we fought the I think an Agrabah, and we were like, how do you kill these guys? Or whatever. And there's like we're like, oh, oh you have to do there's like something you do with magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember what you're talking about. Um. So, because there's, there's a, they have an item drop. Um, I think it's dark matter. It might be dark matter. But yeah, so there's, there's something they drop and you need to farm them. Ah, uh, um, and it's, this is just like the best and, spot. Yeah, and it's just one of those like, you just keep, you spawn into the save point, you leave, you, you leave, you fight the dude, you come back, and you keep doing that over and over again until you have enough. Of the, uh, the whatever you material need. you need. Yeah, that's cool. I kind of like that there are like calm depths, a raging torrent. Uh, I like that there is a um, like common farming grounds for play uh, video games like this. Yeah, it's interesting that we haven't really had to do much with the what's it called yet, the synthesis shop. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty much one of those things where it's like you do as much or as little as you want. Hey, congratulations! You got more hot feet. But um, what was I gonna say now? Uh... Oh yeah. Uh, Tom.exe has kind of a fatal error. Reboot complete. Uh, I can't remember what I was gonna say now. Uh, Something about farming. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. So like in um, Disgaea, Hour of Darkness. <laughs> Disgaea. Oh, there they are. Look yeah. at that. Fire. Tunda. Oh no, you talk to them. I mean, like, maybe, maybe that is what you do to them. Maybe you, like, talk to them. And, and you have to, like, and they will ask you for something. Hmm. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's the secret to these little ass hats. I don't know. I don't remember either. <clears throat> but in Disgaea Hour of Darkness, uh, there's a, a spot in the game where you can uh, create a field that you can enter into that makes you invincible. Yeah. And this guy uh, had this interesting... I don't know if it was 
a Nintended system? I, I have to think it is, just because of the way it works. But you could pick up your uh, enemies and <clears throat> you can throw them on top of each other. And when you threw them on top of each other, it, um, it would, uh, it would, it would, it would add their two levels together. Yeah. And then it would create a new, it would create this, uh, one of the, whoever was the higher character would be the dominant personality. And then it would add its level, the enemy that you threw it into it, it would add its level into that enemy. And now, like, if you had two level 20s, yeah. you now had a level 40 character that you had to okay. fight. And so, one, and the thing was, is because, like, you're fighting up the curve. Like, when you, fought, when you as a weaker player fight a bigger enemy, yeah. uh, you deal, uh, you get more experience for killing them. So there was like this farming spot in Disgaea on uh, Hour of Darkness where I would literally do nothing but like farm it for experience by combining every single enemy on the map into one and then putting my entire party on this invincible square. Okay. And then literally just repeat endlessly. Nice. And like power level the fuck out of everybody. And, like, it was awesome because it was, like, a great way to, like, catch up on levels and whatnot if you were clever and you knew what to do. Because one of the things, too, was as you level up, obviously, enemies become better at avoiding your attacks. They take less damage. They have infinitely higher health. And so one of the things that I found out was actually something that a friend found out. Um, uh, Ryan mm -hmm. figured this out, and he told me about it. Apparently, if you combo attacks together, you subsequently do more and more damage, and your chance to hit becomes higher and higher for each subsequent hit on the same target. Okay. And so, um, I didn't know that at first, and so, like, I would only put, like, two characters together to get, like, a higher level one, and I'd kill it, and I'd slowly work up my EXP like that. And then I found out about this other, this other like piece of tech, and so I started doing that, and I was able to take on like level 400, 600 enemies at level like 80. Nice. And just like utterly murder it and like just power destroy. level. Yeah, and then you just power level the hell out of everybody in the team, and so like by you know you're in chapter five at the time, and there's something like 20 some odd chapters. And now you're just like so stupidly powerful that, like, not like everything is a joke. Like jokes. Yeah, and so it was like one of those things that I love about some games. Like some games, like they create these intricate and well-developed systems right. that prevent that kind of like uh, emergent game behavior. And then there are others who put those systems in and don't realize that they can be used that way. And it creates these amazing, cool things to where uh, it's such a prevalent thing in the Disgaea games now that um, they, on purpose, build, like, infinite levels in, like, one spot. So that way people can do this if they really want, but now they have to work their way to that level. That's cool, though. Instead of it just being one of the story mission modes. Yeah. That's yeah. red, though. I, I, you know, it's kind of cool when they put those in there as like a. It's not super relevant. Like, uh -huh. you have to kind of maybe go out of your way or do something to go find it. Oh Jesus! Now yeah. Go try. Too close. Daddy. As he's like, that was close. As he sits on his throne. Yeah. Try, shouldn't you be out there, like, you know, helping your people? Yeah, like, protecting your kingdom, striking down the Heartless. Oh, Ariel, when will you listen? It's dangerous out there. <laughs> Strange creatures lurk outside. Strange uh, creatures are in here. Behold, you sweep before the ruler of the 
Poseidon. I mean Triton. Oops. And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. They don't look familiar. They look like weirdies to me. You'll not get into my daughter's keyhole. There's no such thing, certainly not here. Oh, Jesus. Damn, Triton. Ariel, not another word. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? Make me, old man. All I can see when I see Donald swimming away is cat butt. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of cat butt. Perhaps I'm being too strict. Yep, you certainly are. Mm-hmm. I'm just concerned for her safety. Have you tried telling her this? Uh, Have you tried teaching her how to defend herself? Yeah. But I must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern <laughs> you, Sebastian. No, I'm curious about so this keyhole. And he just reaches over and says, like, That need not concern you, Sebastian. <laughs> Where's Sebastian? Don't worry, he's in a better place now. I see exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Isn't there like a fan theory where like Ursula is actually Ariel's mother? I've never heard that. There was some weird theory where apparently Ursula is like King Trident's wife, and because of something she did, uh Trident like cursed her to become an octopus. But anyways, we'll get into that theory after I do a little research during the break. In the next episode, bye everyone. Bye.